If you want to learn how to sight fish one of these big Corbina in ultra skinny water, this is the video for you. But first, if you haven't checked out my first video where I cover how to catch these guys, be sure to check that out as I cover information on that one that isn't in this video. And I also cover a lot of information in this one that wasn't in that video. But I tell you what, sight fishing these guys is so addicting and fun and when you get one to bite in ultra skinny water, it's truly a rewarding experience. But if you want to catch one of these guys, sand crabs are my preferred bait and I always say you want to start next to jetties and under piers. You want to look for markings that look like V's under the water as it runs past and after you find those you can use your hand or you can use a little net that can expedite the process of harvesting these sand crabs. Personally I like using the biggest crabs that I can find but I'll also mix in some smaller ones because sometimes I can mix and match and I'll pin two or three smaller ones onto a hook and that can be very productive as well. Bottom line is I encourage you to experiment and find out what works for you because what works best for me might not be the same for you. My rig of choice is the Carolina rig with 6 pound fluoro and a very short leader of 6 to 8 inches. The reason for that is because I want that sand crab pinned close to the sand, digging into the sand when the corbina hopefully runs into it. I want as natural a presentation as possible. I don't want that sand crab flailing around in the water as the corbina sees it. It doesn't matter if you're casting into holes and structure, but in my experience when you're sight fishing, if that crab is helicoptering in the water, the corbina are not going to eat it. Next, let's take a look at ideal structure and conditions for sight fishing Corbina. What you see right now are some pretty ideal conditions for sight fishing. Really clear and calm water, lots of time between sets. The bottom line is you need some pretty ideal conditions to catch these guys. After all, you can't sight fish what you can't see. What's the other side of the coin? This is the exact same stretch of sand on a different day at a high tide. It was super windy and the conditions were really rough. I can still see a hole that might be worth casting into, but at the end of the day, this is not a day that I would be sight fishing. On the flip side, check out this exact same stretch of sand at a negative tide. This is a classic example of the benefits of scouting at a negative tide, and those cuts that you see in the sand are a fish super highway and a conveyor belt for sand crabs to flow through. After seeing this, I 100% marked this spot as a place where Corbina would likely to be found. This is evidence that finding fish in the surf is no accident. So with all that said, I timed the day and conditions to look like this and was just hoping for an opportunity to make a cast at one of these guys. What you're about to watch is a result of that process. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Let's say if we can get 250 likes on this video, I'll make another sight fishing Corbina video for you guys. But the bottom line is, let's keep things positive guys, and until next time, tight line. Come on, he sees it. Did he eat it? Yes, sir! Oh my gosh! Come on, stay pinned. He don't know what hit him. So this guy was using the seaweed clump in front of me um, to hide, and I saw him very, much more comfortable um, in that clump. Now he's trying to get in there. No, 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 no. Don't go there. There you go. I gotta keep him out of the seaweed. He's trying to head into there, so we want him to spook out. I'm trying to walk this guy away from the salad. And uh, he's still very feisty. He's tired, he's ready to be landed. I just need a nicer push here. <sighs> almost, almost, man. Um, I just can't beat him right now. I'm let a little bit more line out. We got him. There he is, guys. Corbina number two. Got put, set the hook right in the corner of the mouth. Um, I saw him eat it, guys. That's the dream. <laughs>